Hey guys, I'm Will Bender, and today I'm going to be talking about something that really isn't talked about too much in, de in great detail on YouTube or on any of the Clash of Kings forums uh, in really any great detail, so I felt obligated to make a video about this. Of course, I'm talking about the requirements to become a Prestige 6 castle. I myself have become Prestige 6 as of about four or five days ago. It was, it was this past Thursday. So with me recording mostly every screenshot of every single phase, I felt obligated to bring that information to you, my viewing audience. So let's first go over the initial requirements to open up your Prestige 6 castle. This obviously comes after you have your castle up to Prestige 5. When that happens, you will go up to your castle and you'll click on the uh, Prestige icon and there's going to be a different type of box that pops up. Not the normal resource requirements or the building requirements, but there's actually a... Um, it's basically a prerequisite to unlock the ability to unlock your castle. I didn't take a screenshot of this, but I will show an example right now. I'm going to show a graphic, and it's going to look something like this. Basically, it's going to have a kind of a mission that you have to do, and uh, they all have to do with how you've been growing within the game. The very first one, although I didn't take a screenshot, is that you have to have 600 missions completed. Those are the quests down below, so whenever you, like, first started playing the game and you upgraded something and it instantly popped up with the um, with little icon down below. I'll probably show a graphic of that too. Uh, those are all missions. You have to complete 600 of those. Once you have that, this screen pops up right here where it shows all of the prerequisite re requirements. Um, that is the market has to be Prestige 5, the depot has to be Prestige 5, and your wonder has to be Prestige 5. We're not going to go into too much detail on how much uh, resources and badges it takes to get those, but just know that you'll have to get those up to Prestige 5 before you can progress and start uh, upgrading your castle. Uh, the wonder too has its own requirements too, uh, I'll show this graphic right now. Uh, in order to get your wonder from Prestige 4 to Prestige 5, you have to have your Siege Engine Factory, the place where you train your Siege Engines, up to Prestige 5, your Ranged um, Training Grounds up to Prestige 5, and your Walls up to Prestige 5. And then you can see the requirements there for the badges, the Iron, and the Mithril. So just times that by 10 as far as uh, badges and uh, resources, and you'll have how far it'll take you before you have to get to Prestige 5 uh, wonder. Once you have that done, then we can start considering our castle upgrade. So just keep in mind, Marketplace, Depot, Prestige 5, and, and your Wonder have to be Prestige 5, and your Range and your Siege Engine training, and your Walls have to be Prestige 5. One more note too, the Marketplace cannot be upgraded to Prestige 5 unless you have your Hall of War as well up to Prestige 5. Um, I know it's a really annoying thing, but it, it has to be done. I'm sorry, no, it, it, it's not your it's not your Hall of War. It's your Depot. So sorry, it's your Depot. So just know that every time you upgrade your market, you're also going to have to upgrade your Depot. It's one of those hidden requirements, so just keep that in the back of your mind. So, we've rambled on enough about those pre-prerequisites. So once you have all of those Prestige 5, and you have your resources, then you can unlock your next, um, your next mission so to speak and that is with this graphic here you have to have plundered over uh, 2 billion resources so whenever you attack a castle you take their resources right you have to have accumulated 2 billion resources in um, in your in your plundering adventures in order to unlock this next one if you don't have that there is a gold buyout that you can opt into but I'll, I'll show you guys that later on there's actually a couple ones I had used the gold buyout, and you'll see that within the um, within the other graphics. So, but this is one of the ones I don't suggest that you do a gold buyout because plundering is easy. If you have farms, you should be doing that already. If you have enemies, you should be attacking them anyways. So, accumulate two billion resources in plundering. You can all you can check this all within your pay, uh, your, your your character stats. So don't worry about that. Once you hit that unlock button, then you'll see this graphic here where now you're at the 10% mark. And you'll notice that the resource count went up as well as the prestige badges. Uh, these will all have, these. this will happen every time. It hasn't happened at all for you since um, becoming prestige five. It's all been a, stag, uh, a static uh, resource and badge count. The castle's a little bit more special though. Well, pre anything prestige six is actually special. 
So the resource count is going to go up steadily each time, and this is the requirements here. This is on Lucky Day. You can look at the scratched out version there uh, for the actual amount of the Lucky Day amount. Bartholdi really comes in handy for these guys, just so you guys know. And the timing down there as well, it's 44 days. So the next, after you've done, if you've if you completed this, your next uh, requirement is to become Lord Level 45. In my opinion, this is one of the hardest ones to obtain. It costs so much money in order to get there. So that's why you see the Unlock Now op um, gold uh, buyout option, which is 100,000 gold. That's a steal for me because I don't want to have to buy so many packs in order to get up to Lord Level uh, 45. I'm 42 right now, so you may be thinking, oh, you're only three levels away. Trust me, it's a grind, it's a hike, it's a lot. So use your gold uh, buyout for this unless you're already 45, obviously. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have the next graphic for the resource requirements, but uh, you'll see the kind of gradual increase that it'll get. And I'll give you guys an estimated amount uh, in a graphic later on in the video. But once you've completed that one, your next um, unlocking requirements uh, right here, as you can see, is you have to have 2 million power in your science. Um, category. So if you go into your character tab and you click the little exclamation point, you'll see how all of your uh, power rankings match up. And you'll see one that has science. You have to have that up to 2 million um, power before you can unlock this or hit the unlock button. I actually did reach 200 million, I mean I'm sorry, 2 million uh, science power. So I didn't use the gold opt-out for this. And as long as you've been steady in your colleging, colleging, then uh, you shouldn't have to use this um, opt-out uh, buyout either. But if you have to, then go ahead and do it. It gets expensive. So the, this is the next page here for the resource requirements and the badge requirements. As you can see, it's steadily going up. Um, I'm going to keep emphasizing this. Barth Goldie is amazing for this right now. He reduces everything except for the um, time it takes and the badges consumed, but imagine not having to use all those resources. You can use that towards your sciences. So really get Bartholdi, guys, but that's the next requirement there. Once you do that, your next one is probably this one of the simplest ones. You just have to equip one um, legendary equipment set item. So any of the ones that are of legendary um, quality, and it's a set item, if it's gold and it's on you, then you've already met this requirement. And you should already have one of those anyways. I mean, you could get the Arctic, any one of the Arctic pieces, and equip that, and you're fine, and it's a gold quality. Simple to get, do it, and you're moving on. The, um, the next one here, this is the re resource requirements for your next one after you've done that equipment set. You see it's really starting to stack up here. The time is getting longer, the badges are getting longer, the resources are obviously getting longer, bigger. Yeah. So just keep that in mind, guys. This is a very expensive endeavor, uh, if you, especially if you don't have Bartholdi. Get Bartholdi. Your next requirement here is to... Ha okay, so it says um, troop training, uh, 1.5 million soldiers. The English is a little bit broken on this, but basically what that means is you have to have in your castle trained and not dead 1.5 million soldiers which is not too hard if you're a prestige 5 player and you've been playing safe so this isn't a really hard thing to do however there is a little bit of, of a cheat and i'll show you guys that right now um you know those uh level one instant train troop um icons i'll show you that right now um if you have a whole bunch of those saved up just instantly use them it ups the count. It doesn't matter what types of troops you have. Just have 1.5 million troops. And then you can dismiss them at the end if you don't want all those level 1 troops in your thing. But I used about 500 of those and it got me well above what I needed to. And then I just dismissed them. So that's what's required to get that. And then here is the resource requirement for that. We are really starting to get high up there. And again, this is on Lucky Day. I just, this was before Bar Bartholdi came out, so I needed this Lucky Day. Uh, but the non-lucky day is scratched out and the lucky day is right below it in bolder letters. So just take, 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 take a note of that, guys. Never uh, upgrade now with all that gold. I don't even care if you have that much gold. Don't ever do it. Uh, your next one here is you have to have had uh, 10,000 attack victories. So every time you attack an enemy castle that and, and you win, you can't be defeated when you attack. It doesn't count. But if you attack it and you have a victory, that counts as one victory. This is one of those ones that unless you are like a super, super aggressive player, I would go ahead and unlock this via gold. So if you've already used one for your uh, level 45 lord level, 
which is 100k gold. Now it's double to 200k. I'd still use it. Otherwise, you're going to be getting carpal tunnel trying to get um, a whole bunch of victories. I even did the math. Like, if you had a farm castle and you own and you were like right next to it, and you sent only uh, cavalry at it uh, at max speed for the longest time. You would take nine hours to get 5,000 victories, and that's only half the time. So you can conceivably get this in a day, but your fingers are going to be hurting. So just uh, bear that in mind, guys. Now, the next um, resource and badge and speed up requirements, I, do, I don't have. I'm sorry about that. It's um, It was lost in translation, but I'll have the next one after this, and you'll, you can kind of compare notes with the, um, with the other two and see with the gradual increases. It's all a steady increase. But after you've completed that uh, resource requirement, your next um, special requirement here is you had to have had, um, you've hit, let's see, actually I can't even read that, it's really small, I have to pull that up on my end on the um, word pad that I wrote. You, you had to have had uh, healed 700k troops. So that's one of the, also one of the easiest ones, because if you've been getting attacked by the enemy, or you've been attacking, or you've been attacking monsters, or the um, the alliance dragons, especially those alliance dragons, they really hurt sometimes. Then it will have been easy for you to have healed up 700k troops within your time playing the game. Um, you may be asking why this is so later on in the uh, in the requirements. Well, th this is sort of a deterrent from people who are just starting on a new level and they just buy their way to P6. All of these are going to require gold if you don't have this and you have to unlock it via gold. So it's supposed to slow you down unless you're a millionaire, but whatever. So once you've done that, this is the next next uh, resource requirement. It's really starting to get high here. 279 days. Um, this is unbuffed, by the way. I don't have any of my real buffs on with this. I wanted to show the raw amount. 10,000 prestige badges and all those resources. It really gets high, so I don't even have to belabor that. But once you've upgraded that, then your next special requirement is uh, you had to have killed 35 million enemy troops. So again, if you've been at Prestige 5 Castle for a while, you've been enjoying the fruits of your labor. You've been attacking smaller castles. Every time you kill a troop, that counts as that. I believe it also counts if you've wounded troops, but I've never done the math, so don't quote me on that. At this point, just consider it as the loss category. If someone wants to correct me down below, feel free to. I actually have no idea. Uh, but this is one of those ones I had an easy amount. I think I had like 50 million um, kills by the time I had this. So easy pickings. Unlock it. Move on to the next one. And again, we're getting really high. 14,000 badges. 310 days to do and almost a billion of each re of, of uh, wood. I mean, it's just getting really high. Now we move on to the hardest one, and it's the hardest one because if you've already got a highly progressed server and they want to block the KVK conquest event where you have two kingdoms facing each other in that last day and you're fighting for the throne and you're trying to get kills, people may actually try and harm their own kingdom so that they can't win the kingdom versus kingdom because they don't want other p6s in in the mix but you your kingdom has to win this and as you see here it's no longer a gold buyout it is a prestige badge buyout 100,000 prestige badges are required to bypass this if your kingdom is being a giant douche i would never suggest using a hundred thousand badges the reason is even after you get prestige six castle you still need you, you your journey's not over. You have to get your troop training up to Prestige 6 so you can get those extra requirements. Um, you may want to get your college up to Prestige 5. It should already be that way anyways. Uh, and a whole bunch of other things require these badges. So, no, don't don't use that. Wait for the Kingdom vs. Kingdom. It'll happen eventually. It will. Trust me, it will. And then once you get there, then you have to do the last one, which is 15,000 badges. Uh, over a year's worth of time if you don't have the speed ups and all those resources and then at the end of that you get level six prestige six castle Woo! so i talked a lot guys and i tried to go through that fairly quickly um i'll put a graphic up somewhere over here for all of the uh, estimated amounts of resources and prestige badges that that's required i haven't done the math yet but 
you, you're, you're already looking at the graphic that I made for you guys. So, uh, hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, like I said, Prestige 6 is not for the faint of heart. It's not for the impatient, unless you're a millionaire. So take your time, enjoy the grind, and if there's anything I can tell you guys, get Bartholdi. He takes away all those resources. You just have, you just have to have the speed ups and the uh, Prestige badges after that. Um, and then make sure that your Lord is always wearing... Um, gear that caters to building speed upgrades uh, make sure that your construction heroes have um, upgrades up have the prosperous era um, dragon ward up and in your prestige tower make sure you have the whatever one has the building speed upgrade and the consumption right down so those are all little things that that you can do uh, i probably put up graphics for that too this is going to be a very detailed video but thanks a lot for watching guys if any of you guys are lower level and you guys want to explore the uh, prestige five what it takes to get from prestige one to prestige five castle then leave a comment down below if anyone wants that then i will happily go ahead and make that video for you guys because i love you guys so thanks a lot for watching guys uh, hope you guys enjoyed it hope it was informative and i will see See you on the battlefield.